Hello once again, hope everybody's good. Um, I'm just doing a, a couple of reviews today. Um, a couple of new pieces that I picked up at G-Shock East um, at the uh, weekend collectors meet on Saturday the 27th it was. Um, so now we've got a second review um, of the day on the uh, G A one hundred. Sorry, G A one ten, G D for gold nine. So we'll uh, pop this out. We'll show what's going on. Warrants card, manual, grey tin. I like these grey tins. I think they're really. I think that's a cool colour. Um, so, so let's get this bad boy out. Here we have. Really, really, really sick gold. You can see you've got the gold fleck. Um, it's wicked, wicked, wicked watch. Uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just, um, I, I like gold watches. I really like the uh, the gold black collection. I've got um, a couple of them. I've got the GD100, I've got the GA110. Both really cool watches, but, I mean, none of them are complete gold like this. I'll show you the tag. GA100 GD9. You've got the gold buckle, not silver. Got the gold. Got this sort of almost grey keeper. Not a massive fan of that. Um, just don't think it's that appealing. Um, the fact that you've got the black rim as well. It would have been awesome if they didn't use a black rim, but you know, I'm sure it's something to do with manufacturing um and yeah it's just one of those things isn't it um yeah but it's a really cool watch you can see in the sunlight it's just it changes different different colors and different lights i took a couple of pictures last night and all i did was just change the angle of the watch and it looked like a completely different color it's just really really nice um i hope that uh you enjoy my quick insight into the watch and if you haven't please do subscribe um, I've been quite quiet on the pickups. Um, yeah, I've just been taking it steady through the summer. Been working, got a new car, so you know these things you have to you have to chill out a bit. So thank you very much. Take care.